So this is the second time in TechCrunch Makers that I've stood outside on a Brooklyn street and waited for somebody to let me in. This is Grado Laboratories, makers of headphones and phono cartridges. This place has been in business for 60 years and we're about to go inside to meet John Grado, CEO and proprietor. I'm John Biggs and this is TechCrunch Makers. There he is. Hi, John. Hi, John Grado. So it's a little bit chilly out here. Let's go inside. Welcome. In the basement, we have our machine shop. This is where we make all the raw materials, mm -hmm. the injection molding machine. You guys are building all the plastic parts for the over-ear series that you guys build. My grandfather bought it in 1918, and he had the fruit store here until 1952. And his goal was to have a fruit store conglomerate. He wanted all his sons okay. in the fruit business. None of them were interested. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my uncle and my father shared a two-family house around the corner. Mm -hmm. And I was just at the right age. And I kind of became a, a, a second son. The heir, to the, yes. the heir to the throne. Fascinating. There were two master watchmakers in the United States. Okay. My uncle and a gentleman, John Chappis, and he just kind of caught the bug, the audio bug. My uncle took his watchmaking abilities and started making photo cartridges on his kitchen table. Right. He'd make a few, go out, sell them, make a few more, and eventually that grew uh, into a, a livelihood. And we set the business up here in 1958. 1958, some of this machinery is that old. I don't think any of the machinery was bought new. The manual stuff, if you know what you're doing, it's less problematic. Today, we produce about 60,000 phono cartridges and about 150,000 headphones a wow. year. In here, we kind of do the final assembly of the higher end cartridges. Those, I kind of handle the final assemblies. This is very similar to watchmaker's setup. We've done Well, that's a watchmaker's bench. And you guys are just using the same tools and the same techniques to produce a very, very high-end phono cartridge, right. which is beautiful. This is where we will test the cartridges. That's a Techniques 1200 turntable, which is like the workhorse mm -hmm. in the industry. An oscilloscope to see the sine waves, and a meter to read the outputs. There's some of the, uh, the innards, and then this is the, uh, the outer shell. This is our original molding machine. Just does the parts for the phono cartridge. Okay. Basically, the plastic pellets go in here. This is your heating element. The mold. The mold closes. This is your plunger. It pushes it in. So this whole area was my grandfather's fruit store, and when they had the fruit store mm -hmm. here. They lived on the top floor. Okay. So this is where we manufacture the phono cartridges. Fernanda is doing assembly of the generator system mm -hmm. for the stylus. Francisca is mounting the coils in the chassis. This is amazing handwork. This is on par with watchmaking. The design, mm -hmm. the parts are all designed like parts of a watch. Sure. On this level, we do all the headphone assembly. Mm -hmm. Over here, we do the Prestige series, which is the lower end headphones, SR60 to the SR325, all done by hand. Are you doing soldering up here? Oh, you are? Yes. Wow. Okay. We're like a family. Here. Sure. The people that have worked for us, some have been here for 30, 40 years. We don't really have a high turnover of people. Mm -hmm. I don't think a machine could do what we do. All right, so I've gotten an amazing opportunity. I'm here with Lorena. One of the, this, you're the high-end headphone manufacturer, is that right? That's correct. So now we're going to build some headphones. You're going to teach me how. So this is uh, this is what's what's this guy's name? Killer. This is Killer, the, uh, the the factory dog. You still rarely get these anymore in Brooklyn. Are you dangerous? Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Now we'll go up to what we call our listening room. 
We'll do design work in here. This is where we'll do the official listening. What are some tips that you would have to, to building a family business like this and building a hardware business in a place where I guess a hardware business usually wouldn't take root? We're very big on tradition. Mm -hmm. Family, neighborhood. This is where I got my education. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I had my formal education. The formal education I helped a little with business, but really my education business-wise was looking over my uncle's shoulder and then him looking over my shoulder to make sure I was doing it right. right. Um, and just to think that my father, when he was five years old, was running around this building. Uh, I'm looking forward to keeping the family tradition in Grado, and I feel like we've had 60 plus years to perfect our sound. Mm -hmm. And I feel like people know about us, but I'd like to help the company grow. If my dad were building headphones in a beautiful old building, and how did it feel when you were a kid? Well, I'd go to career day and like the <laughs> seventh grade, and baseball players and businessmen and everything, sure. and I'd go with headphones around my neck, and I'd be like, I want to be a headphone maker. And there were no other ones, and I always started to feel like, Maybe it's not that cool. And then, so I was kind of embarrassed mm -hmm. about what my dad did for a while. Because there's no other ones out there. But then I woke up one day and I was like, I'm an idiot. <laughs> this is the coolest thing in the world. In life, luck has comes into account somewhere. And I kind of feel this is like our rabbit's foot. This whole building yeah. is your rabbit's foot. So this is Grado Labs. Here in the heart of Brooklyn, this is one of the most amazing tours I've ever taken. It's a factory inside a former fruit shop slash apartment building, and it's really, really great to be here. I'm John Biggs. This is TechCrunch Makers. Thanks for watching.